a.m. We're packing up the car. Got my bag all packed up last night. All the rods are rigged up. Um, so we're just going to pack up and hit the road at about 2.45. It says the weather changed a little bit. It may be raining when we first get there. I'm really hoping the sun pops out sooner than it's supposed to. And maybe we can side cast some beds. But it should be a blast and uh, y'all stay tuned. Alrighty. Let's get this show on the road, literally. Skyway Bridge, here we come. Alrighty guys, so we have made it to the first spot. The first spot was going to be a park, but the park doesn't open until 9 a.m. So I found another spot that's not too far. And uh, we're gonna start here, but we passed a spot on the way here about 10 minutes ago, and it looks super, super fire. So we're probably gonna hit that next. Um, but for right now, we're gonna start off here. We got some pretty rainy conditions unexpectedly. I've been watching the weather all week and it's said, it said it was supposed to be sunny. Around 11 o'clock or noon, the rain should clear up and we should have some sun. And then the plan at that point will be to hit some canals and uh, try to sight cast some fish. But for right now, we are going to uh, fish a couple ponds and throw around a little voodoo mullet, maybe get a nice aggressive peacock to eat. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, first impressions guys, we got ultra clear blue water, so I'm feeling really good. There's like a, there's like a rock ledge that drops off, so I feel like this might be really good. I may or may not have just seen a peacock right there, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Ooh, nice peacock, chasing it, chasing it. Oh no, that's a mine cichlid. No, that's a little peacock. Little peacock. It's like a like a one pound peacock just chased me up right there. That's okay. There's definitely gonna be more. First peacock of the day. Spotted. Ooh, little guy. Just swiped at it right there. Little baby peacock. That was like not even a pound. That was a tiny one, like I probably wouldn't even want to catch that one. Ooh, that was a large mouth, never mind. Right there, he's right there. Was that a large mouth or was that some kind of cichlid? Ooh. Just had him, whatever it was. Oh, that's a peacock. That's a peacock, okay. He just came up for it a third time. Right on the side of that dock right there. Gotta be something, right? Dude. Whoa. That was like a two pound peacock. That was like a two pound peacock, dude. Another one right there. That was a small one. 
Oh my god, look at this peacock here. Oh, he didn't want it. Oh yeah, it's a male. There's two of them, male and female. Look under the dock. You see that bed? If that rope wasn't there, I could skip it right under. Oh, the female just flared up. You see how blue that tail is? Dude, she's all on it. Like bright yellow. I'm talking like like neon colors on this one. No lord, no, 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 no. No. Oh, that's done for. Alrighty guys, I just had to retrieve my voodoo from that little um, that rope. I had three peacocks coming up to my feet checking me out. And I had to break one of the hooks off with the pliers to even get it. So I'm gonna actually tie on a jig real quick because they're just sitting on beds and I'm gonna jig a little jig right in front of them and see if they wanna eat it. All right guys, so I switched it up to one of my hand tied jigs that I actually tied myself. Um, you know, just red with a little bit of flash on there, white jig head, quarter ounce. So let's see if uh, one of these peacocks will eat my jig. Can't tell if that's a male or female, but right there. Ooh, he turned on it so aggressive. I think I just have to like jig the bottom. They're wanting it on the bottom. Yeah, I might stand like literally right in front of it. Oh my goodness, he just swiped at it. Eat it. Oh my god, he pecked it twice. I don't know if it's the male or the female. I think it's the male. Just pecked it twice in a row. He's right there, he's right there. It's a big one. I mean, not big, but... It might be around... Oh my god. It might be around the same size as my PB. Dude, he just nailed it. Got him. Oh yeah, there we go, that's a good one. He's under that. He's under the rope. Nice peacock on my own hand-tied jig. That is freaking beautiful. Right here. Come here, dude. He's not really huge. Let's freaking go, guys. Nice male on my hand-tied jig here. All right, let's snap a few photos and get them released. Alrighty guys, um, first peacock of the trip. It's a nice male. I'm gonna just guess like two, maybe two and a half pounds. We're gonna let them go real quick because there's a female also on the bed and then there's like two others hanging around. I'm gonna see if they want my jig as well. So let's get this guy back in there. Oh. There he goes. Awesome. Hey, first Miami peacock. All right, let's see if we can uh, get that female real quick before we switch spots, because I'm not even gonna bust out the ultralight. I'll do that when we're canal fishing. Look, he's right there back on the bed. What are the odds I catch the same fish twice? Oh my goodness, he's going for it again, Samara. That's why I love peacocks, man. Dude, he's about to eat it again. Oh, here's the female. They're both going for it now. The male is literally trying to eat what he just got caught on. If y'all never fish for peacocks, y'all gotta come to Miami and just find on Google Maps some spots that look ultra clear, you know, like ponds, canals, places like that. And you can just sight fish these fish on beds anytime between, you know, February and like June. Alrighty, let's go to another spot. Alrighty guys, we made it to the next spot. And it looks like we also got ultra clear water here as well. Um, literally just off the side of a busy road. Actually, we were driving to the first spot and then we saw this spot. So uh, I marked it. Looks really good. Um, I tied the Voodoo Mullet back on. I actually brought an extra treble hook lucky of me so um, i'm gonna start off there on the voodoo and then i may throw some ultralight if i start to see some fish and sight cast them 
Oh, there's something right there. Whatever it is, is small. Let me see that ultralight rod real quick. I know. There's a uh, like a little baby peacock right there. Let's see if we can catch him right off rip. Oh no, that's a large mouth. That's not a peacock. Yeah, let's keep looking. I see a bed of some sort. Oh, little large mouth just grabbed it right there. There's a lot of large mouth in this pond. I'm seeing like little large mouth like this everywhere. First fish on the ultralight so far and at the new spot. So knock that off the list. He got hooked right in the nose. He just swiped at it. Ooh, he's peeing on me. See ya. There's something on that bed. Kind of looks like a cichlid shape. Ooh, that large mouth just chased it up. That's the female of the, oh, oh, he just ate it right there. I didn't really want to catch you. I'm sorry. The male is what I just caught, and this one was the female. Oh my goodness. Aggressive, aggressive. Looks like he's been caught before. There's already a hole in his mouth. Largemouth number two. Two fish in like less than two minutes. That's good, but not the species we're after. We're after exotic species. Somewhere in that glare. Another large mouth. You know, I have a feeling like this is a large mouth spot. And that doesn't even really look like a large mouth. That honestly looks like a spotted bass. I'm not too sure. Kinda looks like one. But it's basically just all regular bass. I don't really see a peacock yet. Unless that big fish was a peacock, but it really might have been like a five or a six pound large mouth. Yeah, there's nothing but largemouth in here. I guess we'll go ahead in another spot. Alrighty guys, we are pulling up to the next spot. And last time we were here, I hooked a peacock that was like four pounds. So should be pretty good. Let's go check it out. The key is to not stay in one spot for too long unless you know it's good but coming down here on trips like this i'm more so right now exploring trying to find really good spots so when i come in the future i can just go straight to the good spots so right now the goal is to cover some water and uh, get through it pretty quickly and find some new spots that hold some nice peacocks oh there's one i'm pretty sure oh yeah pretty sure oh yeah nice peacock that was like a three or a four pounder maybe bigger huh no he turned away from it pretty sure i spotted a nice peacock right here let's see how he reacts to the voodoo he kind of looked at it definitely a nice peacock Dude, am I fooling myself? Is that a rock with orange on it? No, that's a peacock. That's a peacock. That's like a four pounder. Maybe three, it's not like huge, but. Alrighty, time to go hit a canal spot. Alrighty guys, we made it to the first canal spot. Um, this spot is actually um, where I caught the zebra tilapia, so, um, and I know it's really good around this time of year, late February, so I'm hoping, um, last time we were here, we've seen a bunch of decent peacocks, so I'm really hoping we can uh, get on a couple of those, so let's see what happens. First impressions, obviously super clear water, um, I've been here before, no fish right off rip, but definitely should be able to find some, so let's get to it. Oh, there's a red devil. Let me see. Let's see if we can get this Midas cichlid to eat. Don't know how he's going to react at all. He didn't even budge for it. He's going under now. 
Well, there's a little peacock. A little like one pounder, I just spooked him. Oh, there's a peacock. Looks like a bed. Or is it a large mouth? Actually, it's like a large mouth. Yep, it's a large mouth. Oh, he just let go of it. Oh my goodness, dude, that was the male. Look at the female. That's a peacock, that's a peacock. No, 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 that's a largemouth. That's like a four pound largemouth. And there's like a one and a half pound male with it. I think I see a peacock. There's a mullet. I think I just saw like a decent peacock down there. Oh yeah, there's a there's one right there. Oh, there's a uh, red devil too. I wonder if that's their bed. Look at the dome on that one. See him? Yeah, yeah, those are bluegills. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, he wanted it. Did you see that? He chased the snacky somewhere. I want that orange one with the dome. That would, like, make my freaking trip right there. See, he turned away. He don't want it. Oh, nice peacock. That's like a three pounder. Two of them. Oh, dude, that was like a two pounder. He just ate it. And then there's a bigger one. They're on a bed. Oh my God, he just swiped at it, the big one. I'm about to catch the smaller one right now. Dude, 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 dude. dude. The big one is like all over it. The big one is all over it. It's definitely two on a bed. Oh, my heart's racing. I got the smaller one. Oh, we just let it go. Let's see if the bigger one will do it. I'm tightening that drag even more. Look, watch, watch. He's about to eat it right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. So aggressive. Like, so aggressive. Come on. The other one's like a pound and a half, but this guy, he's at least like two and a half. It's a good one. Oh my God, again. Bro. Like, nice pee. It's probably like around the size of my PB. I don't think it's quite the size of my PB. Got him. Got him. Got the big one. Got the big one on the 1K. Oh yeah, on the 1K. On the tiny freaking micro jig. The Guggen Bates freaking snacky swimmer. It's like a three pound pee. He's super vibrant too. Like super vibrant. Don't come off, buddy. Don't come off. Now I'm trying to think, how am I going to get him up? This is on the 1K. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 12 pound leader, don't shake. 12 pound leader, 12 pound leader. Let's go guys. Nice fat male. Nice fat male peacock right here. This is probably my PB. Snacky swimmer right on the top of the mouth. We got two males so far today. This is probably like a three pounder. We're gonna weigh them in just a second. All right, Samara, can you get a picture? All righty, guys. Just snapped a couple of good pictures. Um, let's get this guy unhooked. Hooked right on the top of the lip. He freaking swung at it like five times. Get a weight on him real quick. I honestly don't even think it's gonna be three. I think uh, it's gonna be about two and a half. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, stop shaking, stop shaking. 211, so he's right about two and three quarters. Really good one, almost a three pound peacock right there. Awesome, super vibrant, super beautiful fish. I think this is my PB, we'll call it my PB, so. Two and three quarters. I'm gonna get in the water with him and give him a good release. And then I'm gonna try to catch that female. Don't shake off my hand, dude. I'm gonna try to catch the female that's on the bed. The female's a little bit smaller. I would guess probably about two pounds or so. But let's give this guy a good release. Awesome fight on the ultralight on the 1K. Oh, that's what we come to Miami for right there. 
Oh, he's ready. He's ready. There he goes. He got himself stuck in the grass. Okay, let me see the rod tip. I'm going to give him a little push start. He's probably wondering, like, why am I in the grass right now? You got it, man. There he goes. Right there. Right through the grass. All right, let's see if we can get this female now real quick. They were both swinging at it left and right every time I threw it in there. Oh, she's all over it. Oh, right there. As soon as I put it back in. I think she's guarding eggs. They both are. Oh, again, swung at it like it's nothing. I bet you I could throw just a jig head in there and they would nail it. I'm definitely going to catch this female as well. That's awesome. Let's see. Come on. Got her. Got her. Got her. Got the female. Male first and then the female. Y'all know how it is. All in the 1K. They're not fighting super hard. Probably because they're betting. And they're like using all their energy for mating. That's a really good one too. He shook my bait off. So bait's gone, but... Oh, don't do that. There we go, guys. A little bit smaller. Probably like a two pounder or so. This one's a little bit darker. Um, that's definitely the female. If you look at, uh, at the head, the other one had like a big old knot on his head. So that indicates that they're a male. Um, and this one has a smoother head. So that's definitely a female for sure. Alrighty, alrighty. Awesome. Male and the female off the bed. Lost my bait, but that's all right. I'll tie something different on in a minute. One last look at that. Look at that black fin. Nice yellow and green. Oh, she's biting down on my thumb. She's a mean one. She's a mean one. The male scurried off somewhere. He's gone, but um, I'll put her right back on her bed. Bye-bye. There she goes. Right back to the bed. All righty, guys. I uh, tied up a... Um, mule fishing donkey tail junior and I believe there's a 1 16th ounce uh, mule jig head um, it's a lot more like a z-man type of plastic it's way more durable so they won't really rip as much and I'm hoping the cichlids will like this color as well let's keep scoping some fish nice peacock right here Oh, he's spooked. Oh, oh my God. Dude, there's two of them. I didn't even see the other one. He's so dark. Nice peacock. Just nailed this little paddle tail here. This little uh, donkey tail junior, as they call it. Oh my goodness. Two peacocks right here. Big male. Oh, the little females on it. The male looks pretty interested as well. The male's like a lot bigger than that female. The male don't want it. He knows what's up. Let's put it like right in his face. Oh, the female's like right on it. I want to catch that male, but the female's a lot more interested. Oh, got the female. Got the female. Oh, yeah, that one's fighting hard. Got the female. Got the female. Right in the corner of the lip. The male's following right behind her too. I'm hoping I can catch the male. Just like I did on the other bed, I caught both of them. The male's like three freaking pounds. Oh yeah, look at that. He's like, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna have some fun with this one for a second. Awesome. Yeah, that male, that male's still right there. Come on, up. Get up on the grass. There we go. Peacock number four. This one's a little smaller than the other female. Probably about a pound and a half or so. Another dark one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just crushed the little mule jig right there. All right, snap a couple picks and then get this one back and try to get the male. All righty. Um, the male is still hanging out right there looking for the female. So uh, he's got a big noggin on him. I really want to catch him. But uh, I'm just going to let that female go real quick. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet so it doesn't spook the male. 
female stuck in the grass. I'm gonna have to give her a little push. Right there. There. All right, let's try to get this male real quick. Female went that way. Oh, I think he saw his female, so he's going over there. Oh uh, yeah, man. He found the female, so he's just gonna cruise along with her. Well, that's all right. Man, I really wanted to catch that uh, that male. That was a big male. That was like bigger than the other male. That was probably at least a three pounder, at least. Like probably a little bit more. But that was awesome. Just male and female just sitting there. They just swam right up to me, looked at me. I threw my thing, they were all over it. Awesome, let's go find some more. Red Devils over here. Alrighty, nice little canal producing good fish. Let's go grab some food. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, piece of time. Nice and hot. guys we have arrived to first spot in Fort Lauderdale um, we got a little canal right here with a bridge I'm just gonna pull up in the corner and uh, we got like a little canal intersection here it looks pretty dirty so I don't really know how it's gonna be but we shall find out in just a second I figured I had it marked for a while so I figured uh we'll just come check it out and see what's going on Yeah, this spot doesn't look too promising. There's lots of like grass. So we might not even really fish here. I'm just gonna look at it for a minute. Take a couple little flips and then we'll go hit somewhere else. All right, I think we're gonna go hit another spot, but real quick, there's like this two pound largemouth on a bed. I'm gonna see if he'll eat. There we go. Can't leave a spot without one fish. One little flip, one little fish. I got, oh, he just flipped off right there. Let's see if we can grab him. Ugh. It's like a pound and a half, maybe two pound largemouth. I saw him just kind of like, like tailing on that bed right there. Just had to catch him, you know, but I think we're gonna hit a new spot in just a second. Oh my goodness, I literally just threw him in the water and I threw him on top of my lure on accident. All right, there he goes, he's gone. Alrighty. Next spot. Alrighty, last spot before we hit the road back home. Let's get it. There we go. Of course, it's another largemouth again. This one actually looks like a spotted bass, but pretty sure it's a largemouth. Pretty decent one, probably about a two and a quarter pounder or so. Leave in the comments if you guys think that's a spotted bass or a largemouth. I don't think we really have spotted bass around here, but you never know, they could be stocked. I was really hoping to find some peacocks, but gotta get something to end out the trip right there. Not bad, not bad. What was that? What is that right there? Oh my god, it's a snakehead smear. It's a little baby snakehead. <laughs> no, it's a snakehead. I want to catch one so bad. He just came out of muck. Where'd he go? I want to catch him. It's like a tiny little snakehead. Like one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. It was like that big. That tilapia is about to eat my voodoo. Oh my god, no way, dude. That tilapia just nailed my voodoo mullet. And it just got off. <laughs> that 
That was a bigger one too. Hey, it's a peacock. While we're peacock fishing, we got a peacock. Check that out, guys. Look at that. That's crazy. Hey, the real land of the peacocks. Ma, 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 ma. Look at that thing, that's awesome. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be it. We are walking back to the car. This is the final spot. Um, got a long drive home. We got about about four and a half hours. Uh, four or four and a half hours, depending on traffic. But uh, yeah, it's been a great day today. Four peacocks, all sight casted on beds. And I don't even know how many other largemouth. And that was the only species, right? Just peacock, peacocks and largemouth. But uh, next time we come, we might have to target like some other species, like some snakehead, because I've been wanting to catch one of them, but catch y'all when we get back to the car. about 9 30 p.m was the arrival time it has been a long day i'm super tired um hope you guys enjoyed this video got on four peacocks on beds all sight casted um probably a good handful of large mouth or so i was hoping to get on some of those midas cichlids the red devils but maybe next time when uh when they start to bed because obviously they're still moving around they're not bedding yet um and maybe next time we can get on some um other exotic species as well and explore some new spots but if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more fire fishing content and until next time y'all stay safe keep fishing and tight lines i'll catch you guys on the next episode of simple florida fishing <laughs>